Okay, now I'm going to add some background music. Also, it could be using intro music or outro music as well. Uh, but I'm going to add music to my track so I have a nice little soundtrack underneath my voice. In order to do that, I'm going to access my iTunes files and bring them into GarageBand. It's really simple to do. All the way in the lower right hand corner of GarageBand, you're going to see three buttons. One looks like an I, that's for the loop browser. One looks like the letter I, and that's for track info. And then the one to the right of that is view hide media browser. And that's exactly what we want. We want to look at the media browser. And when we see the media browser, we have three tabs, audio, photos, and movies. Well, we want to bring in music, so we're going to click audio. And it takes us to our iTunes folder, and it shows us all of our iTunes tracks below. But all I need to do is find a song I like, and if I'm not sure if I like it or not, I can always click it once and click play, and it'll play for me, and I can review it and see if that's what I want. If it is what I want, I can choose it. If not, I can keep going, but let's just say this is one that I want. I'm going to click and drag, and you notice the little plus comes up, and I'm going to put it in the jingles track. It's going to convert for me, and then it's going to show up here in my jingles track. Now, if I play both, I will be able to hear both. So let's say I want to edit this. Well, it works the same way. You bring it to a section that you want, edit, split, highlight the part you don't want, and move the part that you do want over so they're both lined up. You can do the same at the end as well. You can edit, split, and here I'll zoom in a little bit. There we go. That's the section I don't want. Zoom out. And of course, if I want to fade in or fade out, that's very easy too. I'm just going to add my track volume, add a dot, add another dot, add another dot. The beginning dot goes down to the bottom. The last dot goes down to the bottom. And now my music fades in, and at the end, it fades out. Also, if my music is louder than my voice and I don't like that, I can take this regular volume dot, move it down a little bit till it's quieter, and do the same this one and test it out and if it's quiet enough that's it I'm good to go and that's how you add music to your GarageBand podcast